Hey, it's all right, didn't it? Staying in on a Saturday night. I must admit, I panicked a bit at first when Di said he was going to shut the club, but I mean, one night, it's all right, didn't it? Hey, it's quite exciting, really. Oh, it'll be lovely. We'll have a nice meal and that. I oh, on the telly. And the rain beating down on the window pane. Ooh. And a big bar of chocolate all to myself, Dad. The biggest bar in Wales, a bar the size of a dog's bloody blanket, and all for me! Hey, you make sure you don't eat it before you were dinner. I don't want you spoiling your appetite, not when I'm going to all this trouble. Oh, not before dinner, love. No, Manel. A traditional Welsh meal it is. <laughs> From a traditional Welsh <laughs> recipe book. <laughs> Chicken vindaloo, pillow rice, and two spicy papadums. Yay! No, love. It's goat's ankles in dripping. <laughs> Great. I love a nice goat's ankle. Now, I've already taken the first step. Uh, which is? Take two Valium and wait for them to kick in. <laughs> hey, Dad, when's the last time we didn't go out on a Saturday night, but December 21st, 1984, it was. The night you did, you were playing about Jesus with your little uh -huh. finger puppets, what in there? You Mary fell off the donkey and then Rose <laughs> came off. <laughs> Why? <laughs> Funny in it, the staying in on a Saturday night. Again, like. Still, we got the telly, and as long as you got the telly, the world's all right, isn't it? Telly! Ooh, the idiot box! Quite right enough, Lovett. Well, it staves off the horror, don't it, man? What's on, then, love? Oh, aye. Big fat hard rocks, hammer uppity little wimps. In Welsh, with English subtitles? <laughs> Casuality. Green money, sex among the sutures! Ooh, the lottery! Oh, oh, hey. hey, where's my ticket? You haven't bought one. Why not, haven't I? Because you're a stupid, forgetful old man. Oh, Gwen, go out and get us a lottery ticket, but I'm not going out in weather like this. It's not fit weather for a dog to be out in, man. I wouldn't send Jimmy Hill out on a night like this. You go. Oh, I can't, man. I drown. I can't swim. Send bloody marine boy here for you instead, then. Oh, Randy, go out and buy us a lottery ticket, son. Well, I can't, Idris. I'm waiting on a phone call. I'll answer that for you. Mandy said she'd call as soon as she and Donna got to Porth Call. Fourth call. Well, what about it, Gwyn? But it's the cost of lost innocence, isn't it? What is? Fourth call! Well, you know, Mandy and Donna just wanted to spend some time alone together. A quiet weekend of female bonding and <laughs> contemplation. Aye, well, if you believe that, you believe any bloody thing. <laughs> Come to think of it, you will believe any bloody thing. Gwen, I trust Mandy implicitly. Aye, well, fair enough. Until the day she walks out that door to shack up with some bloke who writes poetry from Kenfig Hill or some bloody <laughs> thing, innit? Well, I'm sure they'll have an insightful and fulfilling weekend. Sure they bloody will, but I'm sure they will, I. <laughs> oh, come on, Randy. Go up to the garage and buy us a lottery ticket, man. Well, I don't actually agree with the lottery address. Don't agree with it? But it don't say nothing, man. <laughs> no. I mean, I regard it as a dark and cynical exercise in mass manipulation. Aye, but it might be me, see? <laughs> and, hey, hey, I got a system. Oh, what's your system? I closes my eyes and I thinks of the numbers. And then? And then nothing, that's it. Like trying to communicate with a spark plug, isn't it? Aye! Aye! Hey, Gwen, I got a feeling, man. Hey, you're not going to change into a werewolf, are you? No, 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 no. I got a feeling I'm going to win, man. Oh. I'll open a ferret farm. <laughs> Aye, a ferret farm with a pub and an Indian restaurant stuck onto it. So, Idris, you actually believe you have the power of divinity? What? That you can tell the future? Oh, aye. Watch this now. One, two, three, four, five, eight. Uh, the Oracle of Spoken. Aye. Oh, please go for me, son, or I'll have to go myself. I'll catch pneumonia and die, and it'll be your fault. <laughs> I don't feel obliged, but they saw it. All right, Idris, I'll do it. I'll, I'll go for you because you're my friend. But look, I assure you, it's a total waste of money. Of course it is, man. Well, go on, then. Get your coat on. Listen, if Randy calls, uh, tell her I'll be back in, in ten minutes. Ah. It was dark out there, eh? Right? A night, they call that, that. <laughs> Old Welsh tradition, it is. What are you doing, love? I'm looking for my bar of chocolate. 
Now, you're not going to eat that before dinner, are you? No, no, love. I just wanted to cradle it in my arms while I watched the telly, but it's bloody gone and some bugger of had it. I am not it. Can't be hurt, you. Open up, come on. I want to see if there's any chocolate caught in your plate. No, oh, no, no. Come on. <laughs> I thought so. It's like a bloody cocoa plantation in there. <laughs> it's Plackman. <laughs> oh, Dad. I hope you haven't gone and spoiled you a dinner. No, oh, Myra, love. I could eat an accident victim. <laughs> a small one, anyhow. I've got to go up and get another bar myself now in this bloody tempest. No, now, listen. Does anyone else want a bar of chocolate? Dad? You're no? Watching. Right, right. Cos I'm warning you, I'm not sharing mine with any bugger. I want a whole bar. A whole bar to myself. You understand? Right. Right. Greedy bugger. <laughs> Ooh. Hey, get a bit of chocolate, Gwen. No. Oh, go on, man. Look, no, I won't. Oh, only one piece, man. No, I will you, you mean bugger. Only one piece I want, man. No, listen to me, Dad. Listen to me carefully, right? Aye, aye. Hey, hey, hey. Won't be long now. <laughs> <laughs> remember half hour ago, dear? Aye. Remember I went up the shop and I said, does anybody want a bar of chocolate? Do you remember that? No. Yes, you bloody do. Does anybody want a bar of chocolate, I said, because I wanted a whole bar to myself, right? I offered to buy you a bar. A whole bar just for you. And what did you bloody say? No. No, I never. I never said no. You never said bloody yes, though, did you? No, but I was thinking yes in my head. No, don't give me that bloody rubbish, man. I hope it chokes you. I ah, yeah. hope it sticks to your throat so you can't breathe. I hope it's the last thing you'll ever eat. Hey, Moira, yes, you won't give me a bit of his chocolate. Chocolate? What chocolate, lad? Oh, bloody traitor. Chocolate? Oh, go in, man. No, come I'm on, really now. Licking it, Hand it over. I, was mad, I but warned I... you, but you wouldn't listen. Oh, Christ, you've thrown it out the bloody window, man. Uh, we let some passing dog eat it, is it? Oh, I'll get it. I'll get it. Hello? No, I don't know anything about a lorry load of Zanussi cookers. You bastard, Matt! <laughs> Shut up, man! Tonight's National Lottery comes to you live from the grey, windswept and unappealing seaside resort of Porth Call. Hey, look! It's Porth Call, man! The lottery! It's in Porth Call! Look, there's Mandy, look! What word? Look, standing at the back between them two incredibly attractive bronzed young blokes with bleached blonde hair the colour of wild honey and arms the size of young bloody saplings. Where, man? I don't see your Gwen. Is Avenue on, man? No, no, I'm not. I saw them on us, both of them, up the back. They had figure I didn't top, so on a little mini skirts, obviously planning a night in in quiet contemplation. Well, you must be mistaken, Gwen. Oh, the picture's gone all funny now. Well, move the aerial around, Gwen. Why me? Oh, go on, man. Don't always complain every time anyone All oh, right, all right, man. How's this? No. This? No. There! There it was. Where? Where it was now. Try back a bit, Gwen. There? There! Yeah, 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 that's yeah, yeah. it! Yes, Over there. Day there, son. Hey, look! It's big, fat, hard blokes having a pretty little wimps, man. Go on, cycle robot boy, rip the back of your head. All right, all right, all right. I really hate this show. It is so mindlessly violent. Ah, oh, it's great, man. Well, I mean, how does a landscape gardener's assistant from Penarth hope to compete with psycho robot? Well, it's just 15 minutes of fame, see, love. Aye, or however long it takes for him to be ripped limb from an oh, end. Go on, rip his sodden arm off, psycho robot. <laughs> oh, look, he's waving it round like a stick, man. This is so gross. This is so Circus Maximus. Oh. It, it's obscene. Is it? A queen. Oh, <laughs> right, you moved the area. I'm not right, all right. I'm not going to stand here all night, am I? I can't see it, man. Well, look, I'll hold it for big, fat, hard buggers, but, I mean, I don't want to miss Mandy on the lottery. Well, I'll do it for casualty, then. You know, I've lost all interest since Mike Barrett left. Oh, it stopped, man! What? The telly have stopped, Moira! I know, man, Dad. I'm not bloody blind, am I? Oh, you broke it, man. You broke the set now. I didn't break it. Yes, you did. Move in the area about. You can't break a bloody TV move in the area about, man. Yes, you pulled the wire out, man. What wire? Well, the wire inside the set, man. 
And we walked bloody wireman. <laughs> the wire that goes into the set. It, it, it could be the fuse. So? Well, it could be, man. Well, uh, kick the bloody thing, man. <laughs> kick the plug. All right, I'll try. No, it's not the fuse. Well, we haven't got no fuses anyway. Right. I'll have to get the bag off then. Have a look. Hey, Quinn, you should be careful. You shouldn't mess with electricity. I know what I'm doing, but Dad, pass me that bloody hammer. <laughs> right. What's wrong with it, man? Well, uh, well, I don't know. It looks like a bowl of bloody spaghetti, man. <laughs> well, stick a knife in and wiggle it around. <laughs> no, don't! I, I, I know. Go and get the little black and white set from Euro. Good idea, Dad. Yeah, but guys... A first. Well, I mean, that won't work either, will it? Well, why not, Dad? Well, because it's not the set. I mean, it's the storm. There there must be a problem with the transmitter. No, it's black and white, ah. see, son. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I know, Idris, but, I mean, the pictures still have to be transmitted, even when it's black and white. Aye, but the pictures, well, they do live in the air, don't they? Float about, they do, see? Well, yeah, that's true in a way, but, but they've still got to be transmitted. Not black and white, man! <laughs> You can have them with batteries. I brought down the club ad one, man, a little one. I saw it. And if the pictures live in the air, right, well, we are bound to be able to, to, to grasp them in air. Oh, well, that was bugger and all. Oh, can't be. Aye, well, it is. They're all bugger. I looked down the street, man. It's like a ghost town out there, like the bloody bomb have gone off. People standing out on their doorways, bloody crying and that. <laughs> well, what are we going to do, Gwen? Well, I tell you what I'm going to do. What? I'm going to go outside and find my bloody chocolate. You selfish bastard! bastard. But I, I give you both a bit as well, man. How can you think of leaving us at a time like this, man? How can you? Aye. I'm only going outside the bloody door. <laughs> you go outside that door and I will drive that aerial into my head. Calm down, you silly dog. Calm down, man. I'm telling you cool. now. Look, cool it, OK? Cool it. Cool, cool it, it be buggered. You're in your fight. Oh, 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 television dominate your lives like this? Why not? Why not, can't we? Why, why not? Well, because you can't, that's all. I mean, look, there are people all over the world who've been torn from their families, who are broken, starving, tortured, and in despair. I bet they got a tally, though. <laughs> I bet they're watching it now. You bloody straight bloke you are, Andy, man. You don't know nothing about real life. Well, look, I... Well, why don't we have a conversation? A what? A conversation, you know, an exchange of thoughts and ideas on a given topic? Gwen, you're a sparkling conversationalist. I've heard you talk passionately and fluently on a range of topics. Uh, politics? Lead piping? Clifton Suspension Bridge, and how it draws you towards it, like? Aye. Aye, aye, uh... The packaging of fast foods? Look, it's, it's no good. It's no good. I can't do it. Well, try it when you can do it. Come on, man, Gwyn. Go on, you big girl. No, I can't, man. It's too quiet without the telly on, man. Too quiet? Ah, it's unnatural, man. No, no laughing or screaming in the background or nothing. It's eerie. That's what it is. Bloody eerie. Like the Twilight Zone. What about you, Idris? What? Oh, don't you start on me. I'm heartbroken. I am heartbroken. I'm not well, man. You've got withdrawn symptoms, Randy. <laughs> Cold chicken, I got. Well, look, there must be something we can talk about. Uh, Moira, uh, global warming, genetic engineering, the plight of the South American tree frog. Look, I, I mean, don't you care? Well, yes, I care, love. It's just that... Yes, there's bugger all we can do about it. Isn't well, I don't think that's necessarily true, Gwyn. All uh, right. Well, it is. Well, I think that's a really defeatist attitude. Yes! Well, all right then, Moira, what do you think? Think? Well, 
About what, Lev? Well, anything. A whaling, for instance. Okay, Moira, what do you consider to be the wider implications of a ban on whale hunting in relation to the lifestyles of traditional whaling communities? I? Well, uh, I mean, well... It's fast, man. It's a bloody fast. You can't have a rational conversation in this house. Well, all right, you guys come up with something we can do. I know. I've had an idea! Right, Moira? Yes, sir? You just say, mm -hmm. well... Was it now? Oh, I, I know. You just say in a little voice, like, like a little woman's voice. Then you just say, Joseph, I got to lay down. My bloody back is killing me. Joseph, I've got uh, to no, lay. No, not yet, love. Oh, so. Now then, Randy, you were Joseph, right? Well, I thought I was a wise man, Idris. I well, Joseph was a wise man. See. Well, he wasn't thick, anyhow. No, I meant one of the three wise men. What three wise men? What? Joseph, I've got to lie down. No, I... love, wait, man. Oh, look, I'll be Joseph. Right now, which one is Joseph? Uh, the one with a J on him. What? Hey, hang on. Jesus has started with a J and all mine. Ah, but this is Jesus, but... isn't it? The baby, man. Who do you think it is? Damien Spawn of Satan trying to muscle in on the act or something or what? Idris, what is that on top of the manger? Oh, I don't know. Oh, ah, it's a telly aerial, man. That's the star, man, Dad. The star? What star? Well, the star that led the three wise men, man. No, it's not. I know a telly aerial when I see one. <laughs> it's there so that everybody can enjoy the good programs over Christmas. Hey, Idris, is this meant to be a goat or a sheep? Oh, no, that's a cow, that is, man. <laughs> hey, Gwen, I got it was a cow. Remember? <laughs> Oh, and it does still smell of Tia Maria. Oh. Joseph, I've got to lie down. My busted back is killing me. Oh, wait, oh, woman, dad. wait, man. Oh, bloody women. I don't know why they had to have a woman there in the first place. To give birth to the Messiah, man. Aye, well, you want to shut up, then. Oh, my dress. Morning all the time, all my legs, all my back, all turn the telly down. That's it, I've had enough. Oh, Quim. Hey, you've thrown Jesus' donkey on the floor, man. Hey, oh, hey, you kick oh, it oh, off, oh, man, you're crutching it. Oh, look, I'm sure we can fix it. He never meant to, love. Oh, yes, he did. He did. He never liked my finger puppets, anyhow. Ah, oh, what kind of a man would grind Jesus' donkey under his foot, in it? Ah, and what kind of a man would knock down and kill his own wife with a works bust outside the car? Oh, no. oh, I never did. It was an accident. One in my life. Yes, love, yes, it was an accident. Quinn, you know we never meant to kill her. Ah, do I? Yes, you bloody do. She was drunk, man. It was a foggy day. She came out from behind the milk floor. I didn't see her. Yeah, you always hated her, though. I didn't, and I didn't hate her. Yes, you did, because she was a spiteful, black-hearted cow from hell who ruined your life. Oh, but I never held that against her. <laughs> Killer Price! That's what the boys in school used to call you. They just a, hey, Gwyn, where's Killer today? They said, bloody humiliating, man. That was a joke, man. Oversensitive, he was. Stop it, man. Will you stop it? The both of you will shut up. Yeah, I mean, Moira's right, Gwyn. I mean, bringing up bitter memories and recriminations from the past isn't going to do any of us any good. Well, that's easy enough for you to say it. He didn't kill you, a bloody mother. It was an accident, man. She was blot on the Tia Maria. Four bottles she knocked back. Right, that's it. I'm going to get the grub. Oh, well, I can't stand this. I can't stand it. It's horrible. Oh, hey, buddy, it's okay. Oh. Look, look, what's done is done, and we all know it was an accident. Oh, people all over the world will be watching big, fat, hard blokes, <laughs> but not us. Oh, no, not us. Oh, God, I can't stand it! Oh. In the kitchen. Oh. Hey, Dad, Dad I, I'm sorry about the donkey, bud. Ah, oh, yeah, that's all right, son. Hey, hey, do you remember the first telly we ever had? Ah, oh, yeah, I remember, son. I remember sitting here watching it and feeling that at last everything was all right with the oh. world. At last. Like someone had given me a, a wonderful tranquility-inducing drug. Oh. All the pain inside my head had just stopped. Oh. Sort of miraculously disappeared. Oh. Stop it, son. Please stop it. Oh. 
Dad! Oh. It's hell without the telly, man! It's bloody hell! <laughs> Pray, pray for what? Well, for the telly to come back on, man. <laughs> Grace, man, Dad. Oh. Give thanks, innit? To God, is it? For the meal. <laughs> the Tesco's for supplying the bloody ingredients, Dad. <laughs> Please, God, bless this traditional Welsh meal <laughs> from a traditional Welsh recipe book <laughs> and let it bind us <laughs> together. In peace and family unity. Amen. Juice love. Oh, well, <laughs> now, now I am not a particularly fussy eater, God knows, right? But you may as well dig up a six month old rotting corpse and eat it as eat this, man. It's not your fault, you just can't bloody cook. <laughs> You're a fussy bugger. I, when I was a boy, there was all families who lived off goat's lips. What the hell is that you're eating there, but It looks like something a bloody horse vomited up. It's uh, ca cabbage stock stroganoff. <laughs> Want to swap it for this, but a bloody hyena would turn his nose up at this one. So don't bloody eat it then. Not gonna bloody eat it. The only way I could get that into my stomach would be my major bloody surgery. Oh! Well! Shove it up your back passage, then! I'm very clean, man! Well, I would have had that, man. <laughs> you, you can't waste good goat's ankles, man. That was really insensitive, Gwen. Bloody women. Do you know what I would do if I had an uppity woman? Aye, we all bloody know you'd kill her. <laughs> You've done it before and you'll do it again. Gwen! I may not be an ideal bloody husband, but I draw the line at murder. Murder? That is slander! Listen, Perry Mason, if I was you, I'd be more worried about what my woman was up to, not what's going on here. Oh, yeah? What do you mean by that? I mean that post-call is Welsh for knocking shop. <laughs> post-knocking call shop. No one goes to post-call, no one, for any other bloody reason than the bloody phone again. Well, that just isn't true. Yes, it is. I've been there, remember? I know what it's like. The seed in flesh, the great beast of lust, lumbering across the sand, the disgust. Guarded niggers amongst the bloody burger wrappers and half eaten ice creams. I had a tart in Port Call, right? <laughs> Before I was married, like. <laughs> Mavis, her name was. I bought her some chips and all. <laughs> but some bloke from Cardiff bought her a bit of cod in butter and she went off with him. <laughs> You can't compete with wealth, see? But, but Mandy's not like other women. All women are like other bloody women, but... <laughs> I mean, they're all just pieces of meat to a killer like him, isn't they? <sighs> maybe I did do it. What? Well, maybe she did crawl out onto the road, see? And I just turned the wheel a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> and then I forgot all about it. Oh, look, leave it there, man. Forget about it. Forget about it. For God's sake, what does it matter now she's dead? Better off dead than being married to you, will you? I'm a murderer. No, you're not, Idris. Aye, I am. It's all coming back to me now. <laughs> I'll have to ring the vicar. Oh, well, Idris, please don't. I mean, I'm waiting on an important phone call, OK? No, oh, i got to do it, son. A wife murderer, I am. Killer Price. <laughs> I gotta be stopped! But I'm leaving! I'm going! Going? Going where? Anywhere. Just so long as it's away from you. All I said is I didn't like the mealman. It was just an opinion, a personal opinion. Moira. Yes! I murdered Angara, so I'm gonna ring the vicar. I'm still young ish. <laughs> I'll start a new life. It's not too late. I'll study engineering. I'll build bridges in the former Soviet Union. I've always wanted to do that. Well, what about me? Oh, don't expect me to write in anything. You will never hear from me again. All right, then I'll kill myself. I'll take my own life. Do it. Do it now, and I'll stay. Right. Right, I will. I'll get the blood. 
the ox or smash the bloody bridge to bits. Oh, here we go. It's the old shining routine. It's in the shed by the coal bucket. Right. Gwyn, Gwyn, what am I going to do? Well, I am going to cut my own head off with an axe, but you can do what the hell you like. Look, look, I know Mandy is a woman like other women, but I mean, I know she wants to be faithful to me. Look, they all want to be faithful, but, but they just can't. It's sex. It's like a sick magic to them. It sucks them in like water down a bloody puddle. Oh, why did she have to go to Port Seduced by a guy with a piece of battered fish, even now! <laughs> I can't find the vicar's number. Well, what's his name, love? Who? The bloody vicar. I don't know. <laughs> well, how do you expect to find his number then? Pot luck, is it, love? I never knew he had a name. He's a vicar, oh, man. <laughs> Will you please call the vicar later? Attention, he is love. We've seen it all before. <laughs> Hello, Vicar. I want to report a dead person. Idris, give me that phone. Oh, no, I gotta get myself up. up. Here's Quinny! He marks the tally, man. He stuck the axe in the tally. That's it. Oh, I'm my going. God, bag it off. I am. I'm gone. Former bloody Soviet Union and build bridges. They'll probably fall down anyhow. Go on, fling your bloody up. Your boy, Ron! You can't just leave like this. You bloody watch me! Your boy, Ron! I am going up that vicarage and I'm going to drag the bugger out by the throat. Interest, no! Hey, hush! Hush! The telly's and back on! 23. 14. Wait, it's a lottery, man. I know, it's great, isn't it? Where's your ticket, lad? Oh, you got it here somewhere. And tonight's bonus ball is... number eight. Hey, you got it, man! Number eight! Black boy, oh, number Well eight. done, love. It's a bonus ball and all well done. Hey, man. that's the best you've ever done, my dad. Oh. Tell you what, go and stick the kettle on. Make us all a cuppa to celebrate. That's a good idea. Shh. Hey, hang on now. I don't want to miss a start of casuality, see? So you better do it, son. <laughs> ah, you're right. I will. Teens are in such a good mood. Hello? Mandy, baby. You're having cotton chips. <laughs> Donna bought them for you. Oh, that's great! Shush, man! Oh. Hey! Look, it's Mike Barrett, man. He's back! Now, who said dreams never come true, innit? 